Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's Mark Learns Tech, and I came to have some lunch. Let me just get the video so I know where I'm at. I came to um, so I came to work early. I decided to record the do the voice recording here in, in my car. While I have some lunch, I went ahead and got myself a number two with cheese on a small bun because you got to start somewhere. I've been doing this for a hot minute. Small bun. I feel like all these little things help, right? All this little. Hang on, before I get into my lunch. So, what I'm working on today, or when I recorded this, actually worked on this at the beach is um was it lists it's basically an intro to list so there's brackets there's a what you would consider is that a variable yeah in this case it's heights and it and it has a um, it, yeah it's got a list of in this case the heights of students, or what, or it's a hypothetical, right? It's just to get your feet wood baby. And so, in any event, I toy around this for a couple, for about forty minutes, and just start get my cut my teeth with this sort of stuff. Oh yes. You know, sometimes water burgers hit or miss, but this one slaps. I tell this to people who come from California. You know, at work we got a lot of people that come from other parts, and they swear on uh, what is it? They swear on what is that fucking place called? I've only eaten there a handful of times because I they have one of those. Oh my gosh, for the life of me, I can't I can't remember this that hamburger place. It'll come to me. But I tell people this, I said, look, man, chances are, and here's the thing, I also used to work here. That, so Whataburger was my first job. You gotta know how to order and when. So at a place like this, chances are, if you go during a rush, which your chances are you're probably going when most people are going, lunchtime, dinner time, whatnot. You gotta know how to order, and also you gotta know what you like. I mean, you can't be you can't be twenty five and say, "Oh, I don't know, if, like, oh, I didn't like my burger." Well, why didn't you like? It? Well, it had mayo. Well, what did you ask? Why did you ask for it with mayo? Well, I didn't know. I mean, how do you like? You need to know what you like in your burger. Maybe you're a egg and, or maybe you're a what is it? Um, egg is awesome, but maybe you're a like. I met a lot of people that are just lettuce, cheese, and meat. Or whatnot. But you gotta know how to order. And if there's a so for many people that don't know this and that aren't from Texas, um whenever you eat here, whenever you when, whenever you visit one of their restaurants, uh one of their um locations, keep in mind that they they sometimes might have a lot of um like they might have a bus, or they might be a school. Maybe there was like an, an athletic event, like a basketball game or a football game, and so all that's going to affect. I mean, you got a you got a bus full of thirty students. Maybe there's like ten people there outside of that bus. That's going to totally affect the outcome of that order. Additionally, if you have for whatever reason um, a new person on, on on the grill, it's totally going to fuck up the the outcome. But, rest assured, once you identify, once you identify what a 
um, mediocre and subpar burger is, just do what I do. Just go back and say, hey, man, um, you know, this, it looks like they just kind of put this together. Could you please go and, and remake it? Sometimes they wouldn't even have what you asked for. You know, if you asked for good jalapenos, if you asked for a small bun and it came with a large bun and, and a, you know, a fucking one patty, well, that's part of the problem, you know? Some people don't like sending food back. They, I don't know, I guess they, they feel like people are going to fuck with their food, which I get if you're a, if you're an asshole. Yeah, it, chances are if, if if you yell at the person or throw the burger back at them, I wouldn't eat the burger that they give you back. Nobody would. But if you talk to the person kindly, kindly and peacefully, and you say, "Hey, man, can you please do me a solid?" You know this and that. I hate to, but you know that's not what I asked for. Most people won't do that. I mean, if anything, they'll like do like like they'll, they'll roll their eyes or they'll do some shit like that. But they'll, they'll they'll go ahead and fix it, especially a water burger. I mean, that's like their thing. Enough for the water burger. So, yes, I mean you 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 could you could see here. It's just telling you to make a list. It has um, two variables, some, some info on there, and then here it's gonna ask, uh, you know, hey, ha- what does this list have? Can you correct it? Can you adjust it? Stuff like that. And so, this is another part of just intro to Python. For those of you that haven't watched this before or are new to my channel this isn't uh this isn't this is basically me learning python this isn't is exactly and so the the format that i like is i like to record i like to do the screen recordings a day or two before or whenever i get a chance and then just do a voiceover with just audio this makes it a lot easier a lot of the times when i'm working on this stuff i have music or i'll have something on in the background or it doesn't allow me to really focus on what's going on excuse me and uh, right here, I think the, the, the premise is right here. They, they, in this particular part, they want me to get used to like, okay, add shit to a list. And so that's basically, it's super, super, super easy for all you computer science majors out there, for all you um, cybersecurity uh, or software engineers, all, all these people, very, very easy stuff. Um, it's very elementary, <laughs> as, that, as that one prick says at that bar in the Goodwill Hunting. It's very elementary. Oh no, Ben Affleck said that. So I actually I, I got a chance to go check out the SPI South Padre. It's a it's a beach here in South Texas. It's an it is an island, and and there was there were some people there. You could tell people like it's starting to get packed with people. I thought it was already like at the brim, but when I got there uh, on a Sunday. Or yesterday, this past Sunday around four, four thirty, there was still parking spaces. So it hasn't exploded just yet, but it'll get there. This this week, I think this weekend's gonna be it. So I got there, got my stuff together. Uh, I had well, I had before I took off. I had originally, um, I had originally t- made some sandwiches because I didn't want to go out to a nice seafood restaurant. And so one of the things I'm also trying to do, in addition to learning this programming language, is uh, manage my watch my spending. And so I, I for the first time <laughs> in like in thirty years or ten years, as long as I've been working. I created a budget that I'm starting to follow 
and it's got um I'm doing the 50 30 20 rule and I actually opened up um I'm actually following it I should say I'm actually like specifying okay out of this check this is how much goes here this is how much goes there and I I did it in a way so that I don't mix things up and I I get to see my money grow and so um In any event, I I put together a couple of sandwiches, bought some chips on the road, gassed up the car, and, and, and head out. And I also took a little uh, some some fruit as a snack because that's that's my thing. And I didn't want to get. I also wanted didn't want to watch my my sugar intake. I usually go get um, ice cream at, at the beach, but I was like, you know what? It's, it's 2023. <laughs> I'm not 12 anymore. I don't have to go and get ice cream every single time I go. And this time it'll give me something to do. You know peel a grapefruit and just kind of chill while, while the traffic's there. It, it was pretty jam-packed. Um, so I did get a chance to, to take all that in. And I also got to work on this stuff here. I, I got to hop on Code Academy at the at the local McDonald's, grab myself a, a nice latte, and just um, ran it off of the, the browser. I, I hooked up my, my, lap, my HP um, notebook to my internet that I've got off my phone and just fucking ran it off that. It, it was awesome. And I, I, I couldn't even dream of doing that um, five years ago, 10 years ago. That was like, that was like its own thing. Like, oh, well, you have internet on your phone or you have to, you have to have those little hotspot bricks. That was, that was insane. And I want to do it more often. That's something I see myself doing. A lot more, not just because it's spring break, but when I don't have my son and I've got some couple of days off, fuck it, make a trip to the beach, check it out, catch some waves and see what's up, talk some shit, as Bill Burr would say. Um, yeah, man, it was it was really nice. It was really nice. Um, it was nice to get out of the house. That's what it really was. For a Sunday. But it's Monday, so... Start of a new week. Starting off strong with a... Number two from Whataburger. On a small bun with grilled, on, with grilled jalapenos. And cheese on it. Oh, yeah. So I was I was in the water. And it was uh, it was insanely cold. It was unrealistically cold. I'm usually pretty good about it. I, I I'm the kind of guy that goes to the outdoor pools in October, November, when it's starting to get chilly, and I'll go in head first. Usually, it takes just ten to fifteen seconds, and I'm over it. But you got to submerge yourself underwater, and it's it's good. It took me all of a minute yesterday to get used to that water. It was unreal. It was unreal how cold it was. And a lot of people were, a lot of people, a lot of, like, a lot of, there, there was some parents there. So, of course, they had their kids just play, like, right there in the, you know, at the beginning part of, of where the waves hit. And they were like, it's cold. And they're like, come on, come play with me. And they're like, fuck no, I'm not going in there. It's too cold. Like, you're nuts. Excuse me. And it was insanely cold. But that's not why I got out. I was in there for about just under an hour. The waves were kicking my ass. I actually got like a rope, like a, because I had, I had this boogie board that I take and it had like a, it's got like a rope that I can tie around my wrist in case it, it slips out of my hands. And I had like, I got like a fucking rope burn that I, I can't see right now. So I guess it wasn't that bad, but. 
the waves were kicking my ass, which is it's great. Usually, they always I mean, every time I go, I always miss the waves. That was not the case, and it wasn't the cold either. It was one. I saw a, a tampon. <laughs> I saw a tampon in the ocean, which, I mean, it's about as bad as it gets, right? Luckily, it wasn't a dirty tampon. Or at least I don't think. I didn't see the other side of it. And then two, I saw a jellyfish. And that's where I drew the line. Most people, they would have they would have left at the tampon. But I was like, it, it'll wash away. But I'm terrified of fucking jellyfish. I remember seeing my older cousin get Stung by one, and it was like <laughs> they they damn well rushed her to the ER. So I saw this little fucker with long tentacles, and I fuck when I tell you I ran out of that motherfucker. I ran so hard and so fast. Kind of it kind of fucked up my the. It, it definitely threw off the vibe. No more. But comes with the territory. I mean, it is the beach. It is the beach, and what did I expect? That it was going to be crystal clear, and that there wasn't going to be any sea life. I mean, no, it's not. It's not a pool. Also, it's a, it's South Padre. I mean, it's not. It. I wouldn't even put it in the top ten beaches. I wouldn't put it in the top twenty beaches. So, I don't know. I guess I'll have to, for better waves, I'll have to go at a different time and, and try a different beach. So, like, in this part, it's letting me explore how to add stuff, which is apparently you put the name of the the variable, in this case, example, under, underscore, list, dot, append, and then in parentheses, you put whatever you want to add. I should have added more than one thing to see how that worked, but I didn't quite understand how the bot, how remove list, how the remove function works. Because I tried adding it and then removing it, and then nothing happened. It just still showed the 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 appended one. So I'm sure I'll have to le- I'll learn more about that though, the further along I get in the in the class. But I really like doing this stuff, man. I don't know why I like. I'll show up somewhere to a coffee shop or I'll be somewhere and I'll just start fucking with this. And it's a good thing to take other, it's a, it's really stimulating to take your mind off things and just kind of focus on something like this. So now that spring break is here, what plans do you guys have? Is it, is anybody going to take a course or is anybody going to, what are y'all's plans, man, for, 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 um, for spring break, you guys going out of the country? You're gonna take up. Uh, if you have vacations, are you gonna work a second job while double dipping and getting your current paycheck? Are you going away for the for the vacation? Are you gonna do a staycation? Maybe get some work done around the house. I know how it is. You guys have a safe week. I'll talk to you soon.